In this video, I will show you how to link another Revit file into your own file utilizing the origin to origin insertion method and then using the project base point to project base point insertion method. So what I have here is my previous file with a few added uh, items that I used from uh, my previous videos for just the uh, four uh, project file points. So I have the survey point and the project base point from before and then I have the two reference planes that shows the at the intersection the origin point for the project file and then also the two red reference planes at that insertion is the shared coordinate system point. So in order to link a file you're going to go to the insert tab go to link Revit and then from there you're going to go to your network location or computer location and select the file you want to link. So here I have a structural grid file and that I'm going to select and then under positioning I'm going to have auto origin to origin. And there's a few other options here but we're going to do origin to origin and I'm going to click open. In this case since the origin and the origin was uh, correct in terms of the origin of the file that I'm in and the origin of the linked file that I brought in was at the same location everything was fine and was put in the correct spot. Now I'm going to undo this control Z and hit yes here. Now this time I'm going to link a different Revit file so I have another structural grid here and again positioning auto origin to origin and then I'm going to hit open and you'll see here that now this file is a little bit off from um, before. So one more time, I'm going to just undo, hit yes. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that file that was incorrect. Now I have both files open here. First off, with the structural grid file that I'm trying to insert into my uh, original file, you'll see that the survey point and the project base point are both located at this intersection of grid A and 1. And they're both located at the same spot. Now if I go over to my original file, you'll see how I had everything set up before was the project base point and the survey point are at different points and specifically the origin point in those points are at a different point as well. So going back to the grid I did I drew a dotted green line here that indicates the quote-unquote building footprint that can be found here in uh, my original file. So knowing that we can see that the project base point is located here in the bottom left corner of the building. So going back to the grid, if I go to the project base point, select that. Now I'm going to unclip it and then we're going to use the move command and move it from that point to this bottom left corner and I'll window it. There we go. You can clip it. You can keep it unclipped. I prefer to just clip it after I move it. I'm going to hit save. Now that it's saved, I'm going to need to close this in order to link it. So in the original file, if I go back to insert link Revit, I'm going to select structural grid again. This time, rather than, well, you know what? I moved the uh, project base point just to show you that we did not. Uh, fix it from origin to origin. Let's hit open. And you'll see that origin to origin, it's still in a, a different location. Because all I did in the original, in the uh, um, structural grid file, is move the project base point. So if I go to link Revit, select the file, but now go from positioning to origin to origin to project base point to project base point, I hit open. And now the grid is located in the correct location.